coin, you can get heads or tails. The next time you toss your coin, you can still get heads or tails. It's not like because you got one the first time, it's eliminated from being gotten the second time. So this is referred to in official terms as being able to do things with replacement. In other words, we put all our options back on the table the next time we do something. In our permutations and our combinations, we don't replace things. Your options are taken off the table once you've done it, if you've used it. So for instance, if I wanted to pick people out of this classroom and just grab three of you, once I picked you, I don't stick you back in the classroom and make the option of picking you again. So that's without, otherwise I wouldn't end up with three people. Right? It'd be hard to pick Tatum, Tatum, and Tatum and claim she's three people. So I don't know. She's active enough for three people. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate permutations and combinations. I will show you the formula for doing that, but I will not expect you to use the formula for doing that. I will expect you to use your calculator. And then we're going to determine if you should use a combination of permutation and also really the fundamental counting principle in doing problems. If you do not like word problems, I'm sorry, you're not going to like this section. Every one of them has words involved. Okay, I'll do one. Now, here are the words. Some of them. Combinations. Combination is picking so many things out of a bigger group out of a big group of things without putting them back and where we don't care what order you came out in. So for instance, if I was picking a handful of like five jelly beans out of a bag, it probably doesn't matter what I picked out first. I'm still going to eat them. Well, unless it's black licorice, I try to take those all out before I start pulling them out because otherwise I have to stuff in one of those. <coughs> Permutations, on the other hand, order is important. So if I'm picking some of you out of here and it's the first person gets an A, you're all going to want to be the first person I pick. Yeah? Yeah. So the, for permutations, order is important. You want to be that first person or the second one. And then we already talked about with replacement means I get to put them back. Without replacement means I don't. So that here, you know, I can't put you back in once I've picked you out. So here are the official formulas. For permutations, this should look awful familiar. Don't even bother to write this down. You saw this at the end of your last homework set. That's why they stuck it in there, just so you've seen it before. We do permutations when it's without replacement and order is important. Here's the formula for combinations. Notice the difference between this one and this one is we divide by something extra. So that this is without replacement and order is not important. That means usually you have more permutations than you have combinations. Which would make sense. When you get to order things, there's more ways that you can put things in order than when you don't. So now let's figure out how to actually calculate these things. Let's find Here's how we write combinations. Three, capital C, two. This is combinations of three things taken two at a time. How do we do this on our calculator? If you have a graphing calculator, you push three, then you push your math button, then you arrow over to PRB, that same place where you had your exclamation point. Then you find, uh, which one is C? Is it the second? Number three, third one down. You choose it, and then you hit two, and then you hit enter. If you have one of these little TI type things, chances are, so if you have one of these 30A versions, not the two liners, not the two liners, but the single liners, what you're going to do is you're going to hit three, and then second, and you'll see MCR above your eight button. So you'll choose that, then you hit two, and then you hit enter. If you have one of the two liners, you hit three, then you hit your P 
PRB button, and you'll see the second one over. The second one over is NCR. You'll choose it, and then you'll hit two and hit enter. Did I hit everybody? Molly, you should have a PRB button. Yeah. She's got a sharp. She's different. <laughs> I'm going to have trouble on stats with her, but for now, I know where her stuff is. <laughs> so then, yes, second, eight, and then two. Now, the answer you should have gotten would be three. Everybody get three? Everybody figure out how to do it? Yay! All right. So when we did combinations of three things taken two at a time, we got three. Well, I was about to write six, but that's not right either. So now let's look at what this really means. Let's say I have three things, A, a B, and a C. I want to see what the combinations, when I'm doing two of them, look like. Well, what could they be? If I want to take pairs of these things, I can have what? I can have AB, I can have AC, and I can have BC. Is that all of them? So somebody suggested CA. What can you tell me about combinations again? Order is not important. So CA and AC would be the same thing. So this is where order isn't important, and so it doesn't matter whether I wrote AC or CA. They're considered the same pair of things. Now, what if instead of combinations of three things taken two at a time, I switch to permutations of three things taken two at a time? So this time I'm doing permutations of three things taken two at a time. How many of those do I get? Your NPR button is in the same place as your NCR button was, or close there to. I think you need to get another entry. Hopefully you got six. Yeah? Wait. Yeah. Not the same button. It should be like right next to it. It's in the same general vicinity. Where order makes a difference than I have in my combinations where order. 